Hello everybody, welcome to the start of a brand new playthrough series where we're gonna have no gameplay for a little bit because we have to build our decks. Uh, this is a challenge series that Bryn suggested that I think is pretty great and I'm very excited to start today with the deck building. We are going to be running through the Dream Eaters cycle with one collection, uh, which means that in a normal situation, when you're running through the Dream Eaters, you can take out, oh, I need my luckies from this deck to go into this deck. Not with this challenge. Instead, we are going to be building entirely with one collection, no repeats between the six decks that we need to do. So the question we need to answer is what is one collection? Uh, we all agreed pretty simply that it was two core sets, one of each cycle, all the investigator decks and all the return to boxes. That's all well and good for everybody. As if we're playing with like a cards item. Yeah. Uh, so, clarification here. <laughs> uh, because we don't, we have we're assuming that the collection has all of the investigator starter decks. Are we allowing ourselves to play with extra copies of the cards that those come with duplicates of? I don't think so. Yeah. What do you mean no? I don't think so. <laughs> what do you mean no? There's you ha you physically have four copies of them. We can. I think that's a cop out, though. Yeah, I mean, like it does. It does kind of feel like it's going against the spirit of the thing. Mm -hmm. I do. I, I do. I do agree with that. I will succeed or secede yeah. to the two votes, but I disagree. I think that <laughs> if I have four copies of the yeah. collection, I still to play them two decks. Yeah. Especially since we're building six decks. But that's what makes it a challenge. Oh my that is what makes it a challenge. Uh, I uh, will go on record here saying that I am game to try to play two different green decks and leave the majority of the rest of the cards for you guys to actually do shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, on that note, I was also say I was also game to do like two red decks, but I'm also now fine if Bryn yeah. takes the two green decks. Yeah, like I, uh, I can I, I can play something else too. Um, I'm down to like not play green decks <laughs> yeah that's, i mean that's that's what i figured is that you guys probably wouldn't be playing green cards and the green cards are so like nuclear where like you you build around them right mm -hmm. that's uh there isn't like a whole ton of overlap where it's like well this is just a good green card like mm -hmm. nah, this is a good green card in this deck so when i was thinking about it as well part of me was thinking like uh why don't we make this even more challenging for myself and like i wanted to do like a rita deck because there's a lot of green cards I could use in there, but if Bryn's gonna do double green, I don't want to eat into his portion of that. I mean, yeah, you, I could mean like Rhea, you... you could do double red and like have the one that be a Rhea deck and have that be like green green. Mm -hmm. I don't think Bryn would disagree to be able to play something that isn't green. Uh, like I have, I have no problem with playing. I, li I like green investigators the best. I don't make much of a secret of that. <laughs> but if I have to play something else, like that's that's okay too. Yeah, I mean, and I'm totally okay with doing like a red and then a yellow as well, right? Like yeah, no, I was I was just throwing that out there as like, I think I can make that work. Alternatively, I could also do a red and then like a Gloria Goldberg, if we allow book characters. Why wouldn't we? I don't. Yeah, know. I think I think that's fine. That's technically that's part, part of, of the. That's part that's of a full collection, collection, right? Like you yeah. have you have ever one one of like everything and two corsets. Yeah, then because uh, I would love to be like uh, someone in the comments said they were very excited for me to play the, uh, your guys's grandma who makes sure everything's okay for you, <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that could be fun. And she also occupies a space that not many other people will, and like for card pool anyway. And she's purple, which means I can just like grab one of the investigating cards that another purple's not using and just grab clues with them. Good stuff. Deck one is Gloria. All right. Uh, so, in that same uh, vein, that mm -hmm. Gloria is good because she plays things that a lot of our people can't. Do we want, and she's going to be our support for that group, do you guys want me to play Carolyn as our support for the other group because she can play a lot of stuff? She does make use of a lot of cards that are otherwise undesirable. I think that's a great call. I think that's a great call. Cool. She will be our support for the second group. Sick. And then we just have to come up with uh, fighters and clues. Brendan, is there anyone in particular that you like? Uh, if we need Actually, a fighter no, do, for we, do we want to do like X for these guys first? And see I how think they we go, should come up or... with a general plan for yeah. who our okay. investigators are, and then we can start building. I, I think the Carolyn deck can get built like last or second last. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Same thing. The glory one can also kind of like pick up the pieces. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that's the job uh, of support yeah. anyway, like, right? Pick I'm up game if we if we need a fighter for one of them. I can be Tony in one of them. I think that's yeah, a good choice. Be... Tony's very good at fighting. Yeah. I think Tony's a great choice for the Gloria side because she can deal with the treacheries that he struggles with. Sure. Yeah, uh, and then I can play like Trish or uh, Finn in the other one. Um, for clues, or if we need another fighter, I could be a different fighter as well, like Skids. Uh, hang on, let me just buy what clue I'm gonna what clue for I'm gonna play for our Gloria Tony yeah. pile here. Um, so realistically, I only get one yellow character between the two sides. Well, that's not true. There are like a buttload of strong yellow cards. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it like would just mean like divvying them up. Yeah, like for example, like you could do like a hard focus on books with Daisy, and then hard focus on hand with Harvey, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fair. Um. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna fire up a event focused Harvey Walters. Sounds for fun. The other side. Like a far sight sort of thing. Sick, cool. I think that sounds like a good time. Right. And then for other side, I got Carolyn, and you guys need a fighter and a cleaver. Carolyn um, can help more with the clues than the fighting, but so I'm cool to play like um. I'll play Silas again. Pardon? Just Justin, I'm cool to play Silas again. Uh, that is, <laughs> I, I was going to say either a Min Kluver or a Fighter Silas. Or I could do a Fighter Will Yorick because there's a lot of blue cards that won't be used as well. Yeah, uh, and with the uh, the new weapons from the Stella deck, Yorick is even less reliant on blue cards than he ever has been before. Yep. Sure, I can sure. do, I'll do Will Yorick so then. That. I'll do Will Yorick Fighter then. I haven't played him in a long time. Okay, so I'm clues in the second one. I'll just... I don't want to muscle in on Travis's yellow cards. Uh, but also, there aren't going to be any red cards. I think that Trish is, would be a little bit uh, tough because I'm going to want to play a lot of the yellow events. Mm -hmm. If he wanted to play like an asset-focused... Uh, or Amanda Sharp might be a good choice, actually. You could fire her up. <laughs> She does get to play, like, some weird shit. Daisy Walker might also be a good choice, or, like, a Marie Lambeau sort of deck. I do not want to play Marie Lambeau. <laughs> okay, you could play... Uh, I, I, have, anyway. I do, I do have some strong out. feelings on that, on that matter. You could play Jacqueline. There's enough uh, you could play Jacqueline. cards between Jacqueline and Gloria that we could... Uh, Make the purple decks work. Uh, I'm also okay, Bryn. If you want to be the fighter, I could be the Kluver. I'm totally okay with that. Like I could That's do a, good. I could do a Kluver Jacqueline. I've been wanting to play her, and I wanted to play both Gloria and Jacqueline, so I don't mind doing double purple. Mm -hmm. They you exist could in different put worlds. Together, you could probably put together some kind of like uh, Safina deck too. She plays very different cards from Tony. Mm -hmm. This is true. Or Preston, because no matter what you do, you'll be exceeding expectations. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to play... Well, I mean, like, I guess we don't actually have red characters in the mix, really. So there is that. Mm -hmm. Jenny is also, like, a solid option, I think. Yeah, the she trouble with Jenny is that like... she has to play a lot of green cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, Tony is going to... Like she and to if you're playing like Clover Jenny or Clue Oriented Jenny, yeah, yeah, and that's very uh, different from Tony. Yeah, but like Clue Oriented Jenny wants things like the magnifying glass. And I could also be a uh, combat Jacqueline as well, right? Like that's also very fine. Yeah, no, if you want mm -hmm. to. Uh, like I'm not, I'm not particular about any of, about any of it. Like I can play, uh, I can just play Trish like without yellow cards. Are you sure? Uh, that could work. Uh, I could do play like wanna... a pretty... 
we could build our first three decks, our Gloria, Tony, and Harvey ones, and then see how things look after that before you decide if you'd like. Yeah, sure. I like I... <clears throat> I'm game for that. Okay. Because if you're not set on anything, like maybe it's better to just see what's left and see how that fits into what you got, right? Yeah. Uh, I won't pick my 10 off color cards for Tony until we've finished everything. Unless you want me to for the sake of this video. In which Whoa. case I will. But we can I mean, change we'll it. We'll see. Later. This might honestly just yeah. be like a 90 minute long deck building video that people can watch if they want to. Those absolute savages who are into that. Oh, yeah. We see you, savages, yeah. and we like you. We do. Wouldn't be making Because, I mean, I'm one of you. All right. Uh, why don't we start with our boy Harvey? Okay. Uh, give me a second on this one. Let's get those taboo lists going. Um. Okay, so it's gonna if it's gonna be like a far sight oriented deck, we're gonna need lots of events. Um, Burning the midnight oil is an easy two of. Sick. Sorry, you have to bear with me because I do actually have to like type all these out. Yeah. No. I mean, I can also you. put things in and like we can just like right now just hopefully not cause like we'll just like try to remember too so if you want to even just yeah. get like some basics down and then i can like hop over to gloria for a bit do you want to play case. uh do you want to play this harvey deck as a calling in favors deck because you can play it at lightning bolt um and then just play like the trash little miskatonic guys package yeah no that that sounds fun like that might be good Calling in favors, and then I play like art student, uh, research librarian, or not research librarian, assistant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like lab lab assistant, art student, and then you can upgrade. Laboratories. That's your name. Into mm -hmm. the like uh, library's office. Yeah, something or whatever. like that. If you want to, like if if that's uh, if that's somewhere that you end up being. Uh, I definitely want two copies of Working a Hunch. Um, hmm. Selino fragments is that the is that the hand size? No, you're you're. I mean, like you are, you are you are sort of hand size because Farsight requires eight cards in hand. Yeah. In order for it to work. Yeah, I'll address that in a minute. Here. I think I want. <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when we get there. Get to... We'll burn that bridge when I we get there. I also can like, um, I can like, well, Travis is typing. If like Bryn has ideas for cards he knows he wants, I can just put them in, and then I can show Travis while he's typing as well. Yeah, we want no stone unturned. Uh, extensive research is going to be in there. Um, Arcane Lightning, is that the asset one? Uh, maximum hand size increased by one asset. Yeah, you can yeah. hold an extra tone. Ooh, do I want an extra tone? Is that something? No, I want... It's time for the dream enhancing serum, boys. Let's go! <laughs> 100 cards! It's back! <laughs> uh, probably play like... Dr. Mailson as well. Uh, just because I want the soak from him. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. One second, let me look at Gloria. <laughs> is Thrice Damned Curiosity? And then, yeah, Dr. Mailson explodes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blow him up. Put him in the machine. He must go. <laughs> How many cards do I have so far? Uh, 20, eh? 20, yeah. All right, I should get some hand slots. Uh, I think I'm going to take... I suppose this is like the part where we get to ask where we want to use the magnifying glass, and I think it might be in the other team because you have five natively. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about taking the Seleno fragments, or just. Yeah, yeah. Just to I mean, get like plus if, one. Uh, if you don't have five or more cards in your hand, you're probably in trouble. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking at my other options here. Mm-hmm, definitely. Go away. I don't want you here. Because <laughs> like, so we have actually a couple options for like that plus one book, one hand of thing. Because we, we got to, we got magnifying glass, we got the Seleno fragments, which is probably if it if we're gonna play Seleno fragments it's in this deck. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, yeah. Other options are going to be like the Hawkeye folding camera. Yeah. And then the other one that like kind of fits that is like Dream Diver if we're going to upgrade fast. Which maybe I'm thinking that actually Harvey should play Dream Diary because our other Kluvers on the other side can't. Yeah. Or can't play the upgrade one. That's fair. That's I'm, fair. I'm down for that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we're going to pick up two copies of the Dream Diary. Mm-hmm. You want to play the uh, library, but uh, whatever his name is, uh, search your deck for a tome. Oh, research librarian. Yeah, um, just like early on. Yeah, we're gonna play. I think actually, maybe this is gonna be. Farsight costs like eight experience for two copies. Hey, eh? holy shit! <laughs> that's so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we are like we are dream eaters, so that's like encounter one. Yeah, we well, yeah, yeah. do get a lot. Okay, okay, this is gonna be a Miskatonic field search or whatever's the yellow charisma. Yes. It's gonna be their deck. Yeah. Okay. Did you Give want a research, research librarian libraries. in that case? Yeah. Two copies. Yeah. Okay. He's probably will, it, we're probably gonna trim on him later. Definitely, definitely. But, uh, in that case, I'm also gonna play a copy of a Colt Lexicon. That's pretty fair. If uh, like the, the downside to this book is that it's sometimes hard to find. Yeah, and sorry, I have a lot of alt having to do because I'm typing these as I go, and I also need to like look at. The list of cards that he has and i'm also trying to figure out how many cards in the deck by looking at your screen because i don't actually have a list of them yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i will um, also roll for the basic weaknesses while we do this here too just so then it's done oh yeah but we do that at the end oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we won't do that until we're finished building the decks cause... yeah definitely uh harvey's gonna pick up that's curiosities cheating. i think that's a great card for him mm-hmm, definitely I love this guy's tattoos. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Hello. They're pretty sick. Just going to say, because then, I also did, almost accidentally clicked, go to card page. Just, so. just in case. Just in case. I think you Harvey want to should get the deductions. Yeah, that's fair. Because uh, I think that our like... other two, like our options for clue, pe- all the other people we have who are potentially getting clues, Gloria, Carolyn, and then like whoever you play. I mean, Gloria and Carolyn... They can't benefit from deduction as much as Harvey's five does, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, no, we agree, also agree. can. <clears throat> we also could do that old form trick where, say, for example, Harvey wants the deduction, but we also want someone else to have the deduction, yeah. and Harvey just gets the level two deductions later, right? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That old trick we used to do with Luckies back in the day and Warder protections. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we do get uh, we get four copies of like guts and manual decks and the yes. core set. Yeah, right? yeah, because yeah. that because that is part of the part of the core set, right? Like we get we four copies of those, of, uh, yeah. of those set. We don't physically own enough deductions. <laughs> Look, try this. Like, I you're <laughs> I'm not. I'm not salty. Don't worry. <laughs> like, I do you want to play card? one copy of the Selena fragments? Mm-hmm. Um, because it, it's a it's a tome, right? Yeah, you need one more card as well. Yeah, no, I'm thinking, that what kind of one of do I want? Just, Travis, just go wild with it. I'm going to choose a number between one and four, and I will choose that one. I refuse to do it, to do that. One copy of Astounding Revelation. <laughs> Absolutely. Amazing. No, get out. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't have that many passive book buffs, right? Yeah, you don't. I don't think you have... Okay, then we're not going to play Cryptographic Cypher. I actually don't think you have any? 
That's fine. Yeah, five is really high. Pretty big. And with the curiosity, if there's like tough locations, you can get up to eight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like if there's a tough location, I can probably just crush it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think your one of should be a tome of some description. I know. Uh, it's going to be one encyclopedia. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Because he's an I like that. professor. No, it's because it puts my book up to seven, you chimp. No, it's because the, he is the <laughs> professor. Right. And he's reading I an think... encyclopedia, Travis. You nailed it. He could be reading it any... just because it's a book doesn't mean it's the one you're talking about no, now. No, it is. It's an encyclopedia. I asked Harvey. <laughs> he told me. Uh, one collection. Travis, one. Okay, can you leave that on the screen for like a minute so I can finish this? Of course. All right. Please. So, Bryn, we're probably going to want to do you next? Doesn't really matter. You're in nice pool or like, I actually don't even know what Gloria's uh, thing is. It's uh, like purple cards and then you pick another one and you get to play cards out of that. Okay. So, so basically you, could, uh, you, basically you, but also me. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, you, it's, uh, you Brent, I, I, but I do, me. <laughs> I do, I do like that uh, that deck building restriction. Yeah, it's sick. That's uh, okay, I'm that's, good. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay. You're good. You may begin. Yep. Okay, Gloria. What? For those of you who are wondering why we're waiting on me, it's because I have an Excel spreadsheet open, arming the names of cards, so that way we can tell if there's a double. Yeah, just to just to keep track. Yeah, because uh, you know we're maybe we're maybe like a little bit. Uh, if you haven't watched us play before, we play we play a lot of things like hard and fast, yeah. and not exactly by the rules. So we gotta. So I think make sure you to keep, want keep ourselves in in check. I think you want to be red for Gloria. To be honest, I cannot be red. That's the one she can't be. Eh? Yeah. yeah, she's not a survivor. Rip. Um, she's a rogue because she's a fortune teller, so she's a cheat. Uh, she's a guardian to protect her team. I think that she's maybe secret. blue is a good place to be then for you. Like, th my concern with blue is we have Tony Morgan who might want blue. We have Carolyn yeah. who's going to need some blue cards, and York's going to want some as well. Mm -hmm. but oh, yeah, we, we're not set on York, York We're not set on York yet. Uh, first watch. Yes, yeah, no, that, that's exactly what I was thinking, too. First watch with her is, like... Yeah. That does seem good. Like, your splash might need to change depending on how things look, but we will see. I do think, though, with her, though, that's pretty sweet. I get a look at four, discard, or lock one of them, and then deal out three. Right? Oh, no, no it's, like, very, very, very strong. With her. I don't disagree. Mm -hmm. Just... There's uh, also well, some then, easily. Sorry, what, what, what is what is your card? Sorry, what does your card text say, Justin? Uh, <laughs> I choose the investigator order during the mythos phase, and when yeah. I look at one or more cards in the encounter deck, I look at one additional card and choose one not an elite card among them. Either discard it and put it on top of the encounter. Either discard it, put it on top of the encounter deck, or place it face down beneath me. Max three cards beneath me. Okay, you should play on the hunt. Yeah, yeah, that's the other one. You'll get to see how many. You'll get to see so many cards. <laughs> Just yeah. pick one of them. All like right. not this one. Not this I time. I probably saving. want the um something like I want, probably want the Azure Flame or Shriveling, and yeah. then also a Clue one as well. Yeah, I think that um you want. I think you want Shriveling because you have more brain, and I think you want. Uh... Yeah, yeah, the Azure Flame dam like it does it can do a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, you want because then I can like if for example I'm Jacqueline, I could do whichever I can then take the worst one and just trigger it less. Yeah, yeah. I I think you want clear. No, 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 no. You want uh, you want Right of Seeking and Shriveling. I think that Clairvoyance is strong on the other side because of Carolyn. It does brain damage, so she can heal whoever it dinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good, great call. Big brain time. 
So yeah, two Sprite of Seeking, two Shriveling. You definitely uh, want Scryings. Yes. Let me see. And uh, there's a Do card. Do a Graham? Yeah, I was going to say that's also a solid choice. Yeah. Like, you get to look at the card and then be like, now nah, we're just going to throw it away, but also no Doom, please. So yeah. when Investigator um, fights, attempts... I'm just reading my, my personal. When Investigator fights, attempts to evade, or initiates a skill test on the counter card, discard an encounter card that shows a trait with that encounter card from beneath Gloria, reduce the difficulty of his test by two. Dude, Gloria's awesome! I love her. She's great. What is my weakness? <laughs> Draw a random non-weakness encounter card from beneath Actually, me. like, one of the worst weaknesses in the game. That card gains pearl. It effects cannot be canceled. Again, minus two to all skills. Resolve its effect. If the card is an enemy <laughs> and immediately attacks you. If no card is drawn with its effect, shuffle this card back into your deck. Okay. <laughs> It'll it's, just, like, it, yeah. it's yeah. like it's like break your legs bad you know it's it's really tough i mean when all i'm doing is putting ancient evils under me drawing one mm -hmm. later is totally okay it is uh but, so you don't you don't get to play assets do you uh, uh, from your colors? splash color yeah. no you want yeah. parallel fates for sure in your deck yeah. sorry which one travis parallel fates i can spell parallel okay it's got one R and two L's. Yeah, no, I nailed it. The tougher cards nice. reveal. Nice, because no matter what, I still get to get rid of one of those cards. Yeah, so you get to eat one. It's like great for eating ancient evils and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, who do we want to give the warder protections to? That's a good question. Uh... I think that Gloria is better to have the level one ones, and then if Brim plays a purple investigate. So, <clears throat> I think we can give Gloria the level one ones for now, and then depending on what Brims are playing for his character on the other side, if they can play level two, then we let them, mm -hmm. because Gloria can pick who gets to draw the cards so she can draw the bad ones. Mm -hmm. But if she doesn't, then Gloria gives the level one versions to Carolyn, and then she takes the level twos as a priority upgrade. Yeah. Uh, Gloria can also play Let Me Handle This to take brain tests from the other two. Although I guess we don't actually need to do that because like Harvey's got four and I'll just whatever, like I'll die, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so bad. You know. Uh, yeah, if uh, you're worried about enemies, you could play like Dynamite Blast. Mm -hmm. Or Dodge. Uh, dodge might be good, because your weakness says that if you draw an enemy, it attacks you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like, if, you hit, a good, weakness, if you hit an enemy off your weakness, you can dodge it instead. <clears throat> Plus, dodge is just dodge. Yeah, and I mean, like, you know, Tony doesn't need dodges. He'll be fine on his own. Yeah, you know, he'll, he'll be good. Uh, you could play, like, uh, Jancy Aid. Uh, to shore up the fact that you only have five health. Mm-hmm. Um. What is that one? I guess second wind would do that too. But I can't play assets. Just fence their skills. Okay. What was the second one, Brent? Sorry, you said. Um, sorry, you could play Second Wind as well, like instead of the uh, the Gensier. Yeah, <clears throat> it's probably a little better. I don't think anyone else is going to be playing it Second Wind, so probably not. You only have five health as well, Justin. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I think that's a you, fine your like, numbers, in your deck thing as a placeholder for when you upgrade to Fool Me Once. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good good place for that to be. Yeah. Uh, what is uh, what is your guys' numbers look like? Like you got brain is your good one, right? Yeah, brain and, uh, is she's, five, she's intellect five, four, four one, two. two and one. Oh, five, four, five, two, four, one, two. Sorry, she's a little one. She's slow okay. as hell. Okay. okay. Um, you should probably play like. Holy Rosary, I guess. Yeah, I don't have an accessory. I'm just, just trying to see which one of these. Hmm. 
All right, can I have... get some skills too? Yeah. Hey, Rapture is pretty sad for you. Mm -hmm. Promise of power is nuts, but we also have a billion people who can play it. That card is actually like insane. Dude, that card's crazy. I know. I've been playing yeah. it in my Rex deck. Practice makes perfect, and oh baby, oh baby, <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Um, hmm. None of these skills really excite me. Uh, you could play leadership out of blue. Leadership is a, like a defensive you can't option. Play I don't like leadership at level zero. I love the level two one, but level zero is pretty meh. Yeah. Yeah, like the level zero one is good for protecting your teammates, but not much mm -hmm. else. I don't think that any of these blue skills are quite what you want. I agree. I think that they're all bears served in their other ones. Maybe this is one of the decks that gets uh, like guts and unexpected courage. Yeah, because honestly, like, with my ability to, like, essentially have a lot more control over what's drawn, right? Mm -hmm. I think Unexpected Courage is there. Guts could be good, but I'm not, like... I think you play Guts because manual dexterity... And, like, you still have to give one card to everyone else, so if you hit two bad brain tests, you can give one to someone else and help them with it. Mm -hmm. But also, male dexterity and overpower are absolute trash for you, and per yeah. perception isn't relevant to defensive mm -hmm. stuff. And I still need... So if I run the guts... We st I can have two... Uh, one more, or... Two more of the for my splash. Uh, you could play stand together if you want. That card's pretty solid. Uh -huh. Stand together is a solid option. Carolyn will be providing a very solid economy for the other side. Yeah, and I have purple yeah. spells and stuff I need to play. So. Yeah. Yeah, you also you also don't have emergency cash. Yeah. But we only get four of those. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've built two decks and we haven't spent any of them, so. Yeah. So Tony is definitely uh, gonna want one, and then Dork's probably gonna want one. I'm uh, like I'm game to run Tony without one. Yeah, that's fair. He's green, uh, but like he's green. I'll figure it out. Gonna play three, six. But uh... okay, we're doing good so far, boys. No overlaps. Uh, Tony. Between the cards that couldn't really play. Them. Okay, uh, I think I want. To be playing blue as my secondary on Tony as well. Okay. Um, because I don't think that the blue cards that Travis is going to want on Carolyn and the blue cards I'm going to want are going to be the same blue cards at all. Justin's also playing York. Keep in mind for their. Uh, no, I'm not yeah. 100. We're not 100 on York yet. Brent okay. and I haven't figured yeah. out who we're both going to be yet. Or fire up your prepared for the worst and call it a day. I know what you want. I know what you're here for. <laughs> I did not say that. I know what you're here for, though. Um, I'm playing. And honestly, now. like if uh, so, I think I think prepared for the worst. Like depending on who's our fighter for the other side. Like if our fighter is Yorick for the other side, he's probably going to want the prepared for the worst more than I will. Mm -hmm. He can play because... Tetsuo though. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play a boatload of options for. Him. But I think what we need to do. Uh, we'll, before, see, we'll see. We'll I see. think before we, we do Tony, that one. I think we got to figure out our other. Uh, yeah. Other group. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so currently we have Carolyn, a soft lock for Yorick, and then God knows what for the last one. Yeah, like if if we need to, uh, we need a Kluver. I could probably play somebody who can play yellow cards. Mm -hmm. um, I'm game. I'm like I'm game to play Trish. Because like you're not playing the fast discover a clue, right? And that's like the main one that I. would Oh, you are. Okay, no, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's it. That's one of the best cards for uh, Farsight, right? 
Or like, is I it? mean, not one of the best cards. No, it's not. But um, it is a card that I want to play nonetheless. Okay. Yeah. No. Like, I'm I'm still game to play to play Trish. As uh, mm-hmm. as our yellow. Uh, I could play Rex, but that feels like a cop out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I can play Norman no okay. Wither. I also like. There's still that thing where I or men. also like I could do um, Jacqueline. Uh, yeah, if you want to play like a Wendy or yeah. a Pete deck, right? yeah, which or Patrice. whichever uh, whichever one you want to play, Justin. Mm-hmm. You you play that you play that one, and I'll figure out something that makes the rest of this work. All right, Pick I'll Mandy, do that. Way we have three variables. I can do Jacqueline because she just needs purple, and there's still a lot of good purple cards left because we left half the spells out, and no one else is using those spells, right? Not right now. Like Carolyn might want a few of them, but not. They're gonna mostly be events and stuff. So okay. It do... It'll be like the Kate. Because we we could we could do that. Like I could just be Clover with Jacqueline, and if I just don't want to step on your plans with Carolyn's toes, like to step on her toes. Uh, no, the reason I pick Carolyn is because I can kind of just pile together a competent deck from whatever. Like the cards, the, the core cards that make Carolyn work, no yeah. one else wants. So, sounds good. Uh, let's do Jacqueline then. I'll play I'll play two purples. Okay. And then I can build either way, but I can focus more on clues with. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh if, man, Travis. And then Brandon is just play five punch play men. <laughs> no, I like to play, play, play Mark Harrigan as my other as my other one. Just like, yeah, I'm versatile. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should play a red character though, Brent. We haven't spent any red cards. Yeah. No, that's that's fair. That's fair. Uh, No, if, I, if I'm playing a red, if I'm playing a red fighter, it's Will Yorick. Like, there's no, there's no other real <laughs> choice there. Like, no problem, man. Silas you is fine, but he's not as reliable as the very long time. Cool. Yeah. Right. So then, so I'm, like, I'm, I'm fine to play Will. Right, I'm just gonna open up these other two decks then. These other decks, rather, all of them. Okay. Uh, in that case, I would like to leave the prepared for the worst for Will Yorick. Okay. I'm going to log it under prepare, or under York then. Yeah. Okay. Will York. So this is point two. Save it quickly. This is Travis two. And this is... Okay. Well, why don't we do our friend Will Yorick? We can end We're with... We're here now, so... We can end with sure. uh, yeah, Tony, yeah. because then you can see what you have and what's the best splash for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe even look at red as a secondary. I do like red as a secondary on him, but I like I want... I think I want to play... I got, I got an idea for what I want to do. It's shitty, but... Uh, <laughs> We might try it anyway. What deck do you build isn't? Oh, th- th- this, is the, this is the end of the show. <laughs> this, no <laughs> yeah. more Arkham videos after this. Could you imagine? <laughs> All right, Bryn, what do you want for Will? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll take the prepare for the your worst. Guy. Yep, got you yeah. the prepare for your worst. Um, what's, like, our basic weapon? We can play blue assets, so I guess that's something we want to look at here. Um, Enchant Blade. Yeah, Enchant Blade is pretty good. Especially when you can recycle it. You're not using your arcane things for anything else? Yeah, uh, I think this guy... You can't guy, play so, either of the upgrade symbols, upgrade versions, which is tough, but... Yeah. Uh, we're going to take Tetsuo Mori, for sure. Oh, you... You should play uh, Meat Cleaver. That is going to be so hyped with Carol. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I probably should. Yeah, yeah probably. We'll take, uh, so we'll take Tetsuo. We'll take Meat Cleaver. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Do you need your teddy bear? You can even potentially yeah. play like a desperate package and like yeah. Carolyn yeah, no, just, just like keeps just you on water. water. <laughs> so we'll take uh, we'll take the cherished keepsake and the leather coat as well. 
because uh, those are both real good here. Yep. Um, and I don't think anyone else will want them. I unless maybe Tony's not telling us something how much he loves his little doll, but yeah. He can't. Uh, he can't, can't play it. it. No, yeah. Tony, poor yeah, guy. No. Uh, I think we're gonna play Bandolier in this deck. Oh no, we won't. We won't. It takes up the body slot. Yeah. Bandolier's trash. Uh, well, you got you, maybe B cop. Yeah, like we could we could be playing another ally. Could no one's gonna be playing B cop though. So. Or it could be guard it's... dog. Tetsuo doesn't count as an ally, really. Oh, eat it, loser. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, he kind of does, but... I will probably but, take like, He does, but only for, like, a turn, right? We'll probably take b you... because we do only have five punch, or four punch, and this yeah. is five. Um... Okay, so Meek Lever is, like, our main weapon. Mm -hmm. um, level zero, we want knife. <laughs> Do you because think no anyone one else, else is going to want this one, Travis? This. <laughs> Should we maybe flag this one as important? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to put a star and add that one just in case. <laughs> uh, sorry, what did you say, Bryn? <laughs> uh, nothing. Just, uh, I was just saying that nobody else is ever going to want knife. Yeah. Uh, I would like emergency cash in this deck. If I can. Yeah, do it. I don't need it. Because... Uh, Will, Yorick, and needing lots of money go hand in hand. You could play the old key ring and we could have, like, you, because Jacqueline's going to have access to some fighting things as well, right? Mm -hmm. And you two can, yeah. like, focus on fighting and cluing and then, like, have, like, a little bit extra and Caroline can do, like, everything but kind of bad. Either that or what's its nuts. Uh, is it, no, it's a uh, Gravedigger Shovel? Lantern? <laughs> Yeah, Last this is a pretty good right. one. Yeah, like this that. Is the uh, one. Yeah, this one also gets clues, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, like, they both do damage. And I don't. Get clues, kind of. I don't know how you don't eat both your hands to operate a Gravedigger shovel. Will, your He's uh, been doing this for years. He's a pro. Yeah, so that's pretty wild. Uh, what else do we get here? Do you want Luckies? Uh, if no one else is going to play them, then I suppose so. I mean, it's up to you. Do you want them for this deck or for Tony? I'm not going to play red and Tony. I'm going to play blue as my second and Tony. Okay. You should probably I look think. at, um, or maybe look at, look what I found then as well. I won't have fail money by more that. than two when you got two book. Yeah, like I'm I'm never I'm never gonna have money for that though. Okay. I don't think. Uh, did you want something like the Grave Digger Shovel? I didn't put it in, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss a yes or on that one. Nah, I think I'm I think I'm good on that. Like if our other two are Carolyn and Yeah, they, we can get clues enough. Jacqueline. Like yeah. we're probably good on clues. Yeah. What else can I play for economy? Uh, uh, I suppose I if no one's playing it, kind of awful at that. Uh, if no one's playing it, I could play uh, take heart. Yeah, no, red, red's all yours, Bryn. This is you. This can, is weird. It is weird. You can play fire axe if you're not going to have any money ever, as well. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think I need it. Uh, like between the meat cleaver, Carolyn, and the uh, the cherish keepsake, I should just be able to attack for bonus damage on the cleaver like all the time. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I'm just um, tossing stuff out. Yeah. There's a possibility that I could play Pete Sylvester as well. Uh, and just like upgrade into a charisma. Mm -hmm. uh, Pete mm -hmm. plays real well with the cleaver. Uh, yeah, but I don't Trav think I want Pete as yeah, like if, uh, if you Carolyn. if you want him, that's no problem. No, I don't think so. All right, let's put him in there for now. Yep. Oh, what the hell am I discarding? It's not the trench knife, that's for sure. <laughs> Grit 
protect your teeth. What the heck? This is my new time to learn new cards. <laughs> Grit your um, teeth is kind of trash. Yeah, it doesn't seem good. Can I play uh, clean them out? Nice. Because we are going to be like pretty money hungry, I think. Would that be stronger in Tony? With his five fight? <laughs> Would it be? Probably. I think um, I think we're gonna I think Bryn might be doing yellow for Tony. I'm getting this vibe. No, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play I'm definitely playing blue as my okay. second. Okay. I just don't think that I need I don't think that I'm gonna need the extra like the extra money. I think I, I think I can do it in green without it. I'm into it. I think. I could be wrong here. Uh, I don't have an accessory slot thing yet, do I? Oh, no, I do. It's the teddy bear. Yeah, cherished keepsake. Yep. No, it's the teddy bear. So we got accessory, we got body, we got two things for our hands. We could play some different hand slot stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Like not drawing all that. Womp womp. You should play sure. resourceful, Brandon Chimp. Yeah, no, potentially strange for supplies. Yeah, resourceful seems fine. If I can't pass punch tests, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Scrounge for supplies is strong. You can also look at a test of will. <laughs> I guess your level, your three will is like not great. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the downside. I'm just testing even. Mm -hmm. uh. <clears throat> I will play stunning blow. I think. I like that. Wild. Card. Should I even write in the Excel list? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assume no one else is going to want that. Um, Bryn's like, I would like to choose red for my Tony, and I would like to take Stunning Below. And Travis is like, it says red. You can't. You can't. <laughs> error, error. If you're looking uh, for another weapon, you could look at Survival Knife as well. No one else is picking I that think... up. Um... Yeah, I suppose like no, because this this deck is the this deck is the uh, the prepared for the worst one, so it doesn't need to play like a bulk of weapons, just like some. Okay. Um, once I find one, it doesn't matter if the game makes me throw it away. Mm -hmm. uh, I will play. Uh, I, I would like to play the Tennessee Sour Mash in this deck. I think. He said oh, taking as many cards as he would. <laughs> E N N E S S E E. Yeah, I know it's got doubles of all the card of all the layers that I'm not sure if there's doubles of. That's how I remember it. Yeah. If all I'm right. wondering if there's two of them, there is. Uh, yeah, and I think we'll do we'll run something like that. Sweet. All right. Uh, let's hippity hop on over to uh, Jacqueline. Sorry, can you go back to the York one for two seconds? Yeah, you just let me know one, when you're two, good. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different cards. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Cool. All right, so we were going to give her these ones, right? Azure and Clairvoyance? Yeah. Yes. Mm hmm. Sorry, I'm just going to look at Carolyn's and up to f 15. Yeah, like a lot. That's, That's wild. why she has incredibly flexible deck building. Yeah. That's probably why yeah. she's my favorite investigators. Okay. So, do we also want, because she's also our clues, do we also want to grab like a sixth sense for her? Or do we want to maybe leave that if you go 
What color? No, if Carolyn's going to be picking up, like, the... I would rather you be focused on clues and Carolyn be supporting you. Sure. Then I'll go like this for that. Um, we need that one event whose name I don't know. I knew read, I won't read, read the signs, the but on Cage of Soul, that's what I also want. Read the signs, I think, is better for Carolyn than Jacqueline. Sure, it's yours. I think you have better option, more powerful effects with your chaos manipulation that you can get the upside on. Sure, yeah. Um, okay. Especially since Carolyn gets to test at, like, 7, which is pretty good for her. I mean, mm -hmm. I know you get to test at 8, but... No, but eight and 7 and 8 are, like, neighbors. Like, 7 is still good yeah. for someone who just has to pick up the small clues, right? Yeah. All right. Where is my ally, who is probably going to be David Renfield? Not Olivia? Um, I, I'm just worried about money, but I guess I could get other things. Olivia is also, yeah, I mean, Olivia is great. You mean Olive? Olive. We're calling her Olivia. Olive. Sorry. Okay. So we're pretty good on clues. Money. Uh... This can be a, the other. Emergency Tony cash? Might, no, Tony's not getting emergency cash. Carolyn, this can be the other emergency cash deck. If Perfect. You want, yeah. I think. Yeah, no, to, the Tony deck should be fine on money. I think I can. I think with green cards, money shouldn't be a huge problem. <clears throat> Or second emergency cash. That one has that one has your investigator on it. You know Travis's rules. Uh, it's, I have to put it in, right? Those are the <laughs> rules. There's no other things to say. It. Precinct. Precinct's actually like very good in her. Premonition. Yeah. <laughs> Does this deck get the level one or the level zero? Board of Protection, or did we put that in the other one? We have that, we have in, that in Gloria for now. In, yeah, in Gloria okay. for now. Um, like, I so think this the one... level 2 Board of Protection is more valuable for Jacqueline because Gloria can pick who gets the bad encounter cards, so when she yeah, picks yeah. one, she no, can I, I, got, it. I got it. Should I Jacqueline grab and Carolyn for then... Gets the uh, no, what is that one card? Arcane Research? Yeah. Should I grab... Yeah, it's much more important for you. Yeah, grab two of those. Yeah. Sick. Because you need to be able to get that clairvoyance firing up as soon as you pop, as and six sense as soon as you can. Whereas if Gloria gets her right seeking going, it's not a huge deal because Harvey's gonna get most of the clues, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, honestly, probably with Gloria, I'm gonna even go down to like one right of seeking, like later on. Voice right? of Ra is a very solid option for you as well. Sick. Yeah. I mean, if someone else wants the emergency cash, I could just run the Voice of Ra over the emergency cash with Uncage of the Soul. I'm probably covered. I don't need six things. Especially with Carolyn. Yeah, yeah so, Carolyn. Uh, we, Carolyn. We can keep it now and see how it goes. No, I, I think I'll, I'll get rid of the cash. I think I don't need yeah. it with Voice of Ra. Yeah. Carolyn's like, decks are often quite expensive. It is not. Like, it depends what you put in them, but yeah. like it is nice to have. Right, we're at 16. Always love me some skills. I like this pile of investigators. These are a bunch of people we haven't we don't really see that often or at all. You probably <laughs> want the, the promise of power for you, right? Travis? Sorry, promise of power? Yeah. Uh oh. Um Yes, no, Carolyn absolutely wants Paul's Power. I'm going to be playing a practice makes perfect package, I think. Sounds else is taking good. That. Sounds good. <clears throat> so I can play that. I can play Leadership. I can play Vicious Blow if I need. I got all kinds of options. I can play Fearless. Oh, I'm going to grab some Yeah, I was going to play Vicious Blow in Tony, but uh, like, if you want it for a practice makes perfect. Uh, I can come up with other here. stuff, I think. Um, yeah, it's, Travis, like it's, it's, not a, it's not a huge deal. I'm just going to play like a buttload of guns. Uh, I'm going to take the Arcane yeah. Initiate. But who else could want that? Gloria? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, also it's also you. It's also you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what 
the fuck is this card? <laughs> These curse cards always make me, I'm like, what is happening with this card? I'm so excited to play with them. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, just looking at the cards from her Oh, I probably want Ritual Candles. Is... Oh, yeah, Ritual Candles is pretty good. It's yeah, a great it's card. It's pretty spots. okay. And then... What's your punch? Two. Grind Mirror is an okay option for you, actually. Yeah. That card's pretty okay. Ineffable. You could play Ineffable Truth or Miss mm -hmm. You should play Crystal Pendulum. Yeah, I was looking for that one. The one that we said was probably going to be good with her. Yeah, I wanted that. Pendulum. Uh, I could take some Evade. I'll take... Uh, which one do I want more? What's the damn? Uh, what about ethereal form instead? It's oh, ethereal form is a pretty solid choice. Yeah, because then I don't uh, have to like commit it's to an a event, spell and slot. it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't take up one of your spell slots. Let's do it, and then I get to turn into a ghost. Yeah, and then you just have a panic button if you need it. Yeah. I think that I I do like a one of astral travel in Jacqueline Fine because she gets to play prescient so consistently. Sure, I'll try it out. I'm down. Astral Travel is sweet. You get to be all, like, Astral Beast. Yeah, and you can just, like, dump it into a different... You can just dump it into a test or whatever and then pull it back to Prescient if you need it later, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think she should probably be our other Guts user, maybe? Yeah, because who do we have? We have... Unless you want it with Carolyn, because I'm sure Tony's just accepting it. Oh. I wouldn't mind yeah, if no, you don't I, take it. With, yeah. If you don't take it with her, I'll take it with Carolyn for sure. But uh, Dude, if you no, don't have you anything can, better, I'm not gonna miss it. Okay. You can take it. Uh, I'm gonna probably grab some Delve Two Deeps. <laughs> oh baby, let's go. <laughs> uh, and then uh, my remember only other the thought right Deep now is, is to just grab here. like Open Gates to fill up that last three, just to feel a bit naughty. That's a good point. Brent says Delve Two Deep is half value, kind of. Yeah. That is fair. Like it's, it's effectively half value here. All right. You know what, Brandon? Uh, you convinced me. Damn it. Not that I'm trying to tell you tell you how to you know, live your life or whatever. Yeah, I'll play Delta Deep in my Carolyn deck. Uh, read the Signs and Spectral Razor are both sick. I think we're planning on uh, giving... Read the Signs I want for Carolyn, I think. Um, okay. I can... Spectral Razor is like really nice, but again, I think that's... I think that plays just a little bit better in Carolyn. Yeah, no, I was going to say, like, I, I don't think I need it. If you want it, it can go in Carolyn. I'm not certain if I'm going to play it, but I think you're, like, I think we have enough combat stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might. Uh, like, it, it is just, like, a nice, clean answer to one of those Asphaloth enemies. Here, yeah, Travis. a big part of those, like, Carolyn's going to have such a big pile of money, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you don't take Spectral Razor, I'll take it. But if you do, okay. it's yours, okay? So just, we'll... Yeah. A um, one of Storm of Spirits, I think, is nice. Oh, I'm going to take the Storm of Spirits is like Dynamite. Yeah. I think I'm going to go like that. Oh, I you have two more two cards, more. though. Because I took out the Delft of Deeps. So I was like, oh, I needed three more cards. Hmm. Um, I think that Defiance is pretty nice in her, actually. That's that's what I was thinking. That was the one that was calling me. So that's what I'm going to go with. All right. I like this. I get to play two very different purple decks. This is going to be fun. <laughs> it's the purple life. Nothing you're doing is broken, but it's all different. Yeah. Hey, uh, I've had, I have had a lot of people in our comments say that Jacqueline and Gloria are both very OP, and I'm ready to see if that's true. Uh, should we do Carolyn now? No, I'll do 20 first. Okay. Here, Travis, just to see if you need to make sure if we're all good. I promise you I don't want any of the same blue cards you do. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have three... 
What the heck is this message from Julie? Am I good, Travis? I think so. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Brynn, you want to do Carolyn first? Is that what you're saying? I, I, like, I'm, I'm good either way. I'm All right, good either let's, way. let's get I'm you saying. done. Do you want to do Guardian? Yeah, do tell you first. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna do Guardian as our... Okay. All right, the extra whole type. I did Carolyn with as a fill, so... All right, what do you want, Brynn? Uh, well, we definitely need some sort of guns. Uh, we're going to take the Mauser C96 for sure. You got two already. You have the 38 long colts. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to need a whole lot more. Uh, we're going to take the Lucky Cigarette Case as well. Makes sense. May I interest you in Switchblade? Uh, you may not. <laughs> uh, we're going to take you handle this one. Just for a little more encounter card manipulation. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I would like Lonnie as my ally, I think. The Ritter, not Riddler. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to need that to not die. So I suppose I also want the leather jacket. Ah, the combo. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm sure as shit not taking that the trench coat. That card's trash. <laughs> uh, really? Really? Yeah, I know. Controversial opinion, right? <laughs> it was a real hot take you got there. Yeah. You sure you don't want three foot during evasion taps, baby? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what are the level one? I don't there aren't very many level one guns here, are there? I'll we'll take that we'll take the forty one Derringer because uh it's a gun. You could take the uh Oh, I love the idea of Tommy, Tommy gun. pulling out that fucking tiny little gun. <laughs> yeah. Freeze, you're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the machine gun or the Tommy gun, Brent, the mixed class one. Yeah, yeah, the Thompson. Yeah, Thompson. Yeah, I think I might take that for now. Anyway, we'll see. It. We'll see how things go. Um, that gives us eight weapons. That's probably good. Um, you know what? Maybe give me a knife. Um, you Just can't in have case. We'll oh no, there's four. It. One you nice want to have a knife over the switchblade. No, you do. But you'd rather have the knife over, like... There's got to be something better than the knife, man. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Give me a minute. Wait, you want me to, you want me to carry the kukri? No. Because <laughs> I will. Give me a second here. I'm, 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 I know he exists. I know he exists. I'm not going. I'm not going anyplace. Uh, <laughs> play knuckle duster, you chimp. Why would I play knuckle duster? Then they get to hit Extra me back. Extra damage, baby. Yeah, sure, whatever. Give me, a, give me one knuckle duster if it'll make Travis happy. You could play. I just want uh, instead as well. No, I can't. Attack the tax. I put Tennessee Sour Mash in the other deck. You could also play the 25 on Mac. Isn't that one only good if they're evaded? Yes. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a really simple explanation, Brandon. I didn't read that yeah. part. <laughs> <laughs> he just saw a 25 automatic and he's like, this gun shoots people. I will kill this them. Gun. I saw a plus two punch and plus one damage. And I was like, why wouldn't you? Yeah, it actually, it just kind of sneaks in there. It's 100%. I'm with you, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> like that gun? That gun seems sweet like, if your uh, name is Finn. Yeah, it does seem sweet in Finn. Yeah. Blat, uh, blat. I'll attack as strong as Tony's base punch with this by after evading an enemy. Yeah. <laughs> 
my character's unique pass or my character's unique ability right. is that I get to use this card competently. Yeah. <laughs> Guardian cards. What the hell do I want at level one? Like I don't think it's actually very much. Uh, I will take get over here, I think. Scorpion. Uh, because that seems like a very solid foil to my Tony's glory. Uh, as well, it's just like kind of good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just your quarry just being like, hey, you, get over here, fucko. All right, you insist. Where were the last two emergency caches going? Carolyn. Cool. Uh, they can probably go in Travis's deck. Sick. Uh, I will take uh, take the initiative unless you really want it. Nope. Okay. Uh, and I think 14 health investigator. I will also take steadfast. And uh, and the vicious blow again unless you really want to nope. travel. And I think that's good for blue cards for this idiot. And we got to figure out some sort of money solution here. May I interest you in a Faustian bargain? Uh, yes, you may. <laughs> that card is so good. Yeah, that card is like really good. It's it's a some staple. Of these for cards, sure. Some of those curse cards where they're like, "This is incredibly above curve, but you have to put a curse token in the bag," or just like, "I I just won't draw it. Don't worry about it." Yeah. Sure, but what if I don't find it? Yeah. Honestly, just let me face check it. I usually go up seven on a test anyway, so. Yeah. Justin got that paranoia. He's like, I have to be seven up. What if I draw the minus five? Yeah. I just and like, like I know there's no minus seven. There's no minus eight in the bag, but like I better bump up a bit just in case. Mm -hmm. Why fail when you can pass? If you're I looking at the mouse you, brain, you could look at like an opera, like playing opportunist. If you're gonna have the mouse would be like your or the derringer be your main weapons. I do not intend for them to be my main weapons, they're just the ones I've got right now. Okay. Um I will take sleight of hand. In its current tabooed form, I think it is very good for this deck. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can pay one for what the current tabooed form is. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, but I can put I can put the Thompson into play without paying for it. Just mm -hmm. like one cost fast. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, or the Mauser even, or even the Derringer. Like that's still a pretty good deal. Yeah, definitely. Or two copies yeah. of Tony's Long Colts, but that's a bad idea. And it would make me a bad person. Mm -hmm. Yep, it would. Uh, how many more do I need? Three more. Three? Right. Three? I think you need some kind of some more economy. Ah, uh, maybe. I mean, like the sleight of hand is technically economy. So is the Faustian uh, so bargain, bargain. bargain. The Faustian bargain isn't technical. It is. Economy. It literally is, yeah. It's literally economy. It does nothing else. <laughs> um, most of the other good stuff is like a tier up. And like the bounty contract is also economy. Mm -hmm. You could play Watch This. <gasps> Trap. With your five punch. Watch yeah. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, play, I'll play two Watch This and then I gotta figure out my last He's card. Like I wasn't prepared for it when I suggested. Yeah, it. <laughs> no, I know. I, like I know you were. No, but it's gonna be great when Bryn does it. He's gonna draw the auto fail. And he's gonna be like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> no, it sucks <laughs> to suck. <laughs> Throw all my money away, fail my punch uh, test, get hit back. Yeah, I'll take I'll take one Gregory Gry as my last my last card here. He's both uh, both economy and soak, and he's also an item 
Could you imagine? Lonnie could just heal him, fix him up. That'd be great. All right, we have one He's more. I am if you're close enough to him. Uh, here's Travis to make sure you're good on your side. Yeah, so hit me with uh, two emergency caches. Oh, sorry, I thought you were, uh, you were good. Let's go. Yeah. No, I was really on board. The toy market one took a while. Uh, you wanted, what is it, read the signs? Yeah. Um, I want... Uh, let me handle this. Done. I want leadership. I want practice makes perfect. Um... Does she want the magnifying glasses? Uh, give me a second here. Definitely want you. I want you. Man, how excited is YouTube gonna be when in like Four years they're like do a mono blue cycle no repeats and we're like damn we're at this again huh and then we all fall off the train anyway <laughs> we still just fall <laughs> off the train we're definitely playing promise of power I think I want prophesy as well and perception How many, blue, how many purple and yellow cards is that? Uh, two, four, six, eight. I probably want two Storm of Spirits. You can have the special races too if you want. Okay. I'm just gonna come up here for a second because we want two Storm of Spirits because there's all the swarm enemies for this one. Oh yeah. All right, Spectral. Uh, I just think with the way this is formed, I can't really cut anything without. So I think just the Storm of Spirits is where we're at. All right, back to Carol. I'd like uh, St. Hubert's Key and Magnifying Glass. Looking good. Yeah. Do you want to play Grimm's Fairy Tales? No. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Fuck. I okay. like short cuts because no one else is playing those. I'm going to take um, uh, one, two, three, four. No. No. Why don't I'm gonna, you want I'm going to soft take plan of action for now, but that might change. Which one, sorry? Plan of action? Plan of action. If this test, what the fuck? If this test. What the hell is this? I love it. Anytime there's an end with a conspiracy card, I'm like, what does this do? If this skill does this during or before the first action this turn, plan of action gains sick ass symbols. If it is between the first and third actions, you draw a card. If it's during or after the third action of the turn, it gains those symbols. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna play logical reasoning.
I'm also playing with the uh, cycle cards, not the book ones, by the way. I figured as much, because the Black Wind yeah. is a nightmare. Yeah, I don't... I'm not about that. <laughs> um... I want you. I want you. You know what we're going to play for our ally? We're going to play Fatty. Uh, you, are, I think, are over. It says contains forbidden cards. Okay. Uh, we're going to cut the plan of actions for now. Then. You're good. Yeah, I probably have like one slot left. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one Hawkeye folding camera, I think. How many cards is that? It's 27 cards already? Right? Oh my god. Um. There's a big pile of blue stuff I can play here. With <laughs> A very large pile of blue things. Yeah, I, I like the, hmm, my four blue cards to add to my blue <laughs> investigator. You don't have an ally yet. Yeah, he's crystal. Oh, no, you do, you do. I can't read. He's yeah. hiding, though. Normally allies are like... Nice try, Brynn. Yeah. Got um, Yep. Yeah. I have Ooh, three cards play, left, uh, right? Three cards. Team. No, I have... Sorry, play what? My teamwork. I'll trade you my meat cleaver for your fat man. Absolutely not. Give me a dynamite <laughs> yeah. blast. Just one of them? Oh, I clicked two? Yeah. Yeah, I don't really see myself want more than one of those. That checks out. If we're in a scenario where I need more than one dynamite blast, things are like really not good. Yeah. <laughs> And then your last two? Yeah, I think... I want two shortcuts. You got them? Or not shortcuts, sorry, safeguards. That's what I meant to say. And then no, that's probably fine. I was trying to think about maybe finding place a place for uh, for what's it called first aid, but mm. I don't want that trash in my starting deck. All right. Let's uh, see what our weaknesses are. Yeah, uh, no overlaps, by the way, boys. Good job. Travis, for Harvey Walters, it is the tower. Let's go, actually. Yeah, you cannot commit <laughs> skill tests. You're full oh, of skills. no. <laughs> That's just hand size, baby. <laughs> you know, like, actually, that's, that's, that's pretty good. I like that. That's yeah. good. All right, Bryn for Tony Morgan. He's going to turn into a tree. <laughs> uh, a cursed follower. Oh, easy. It's the same guy as funny. my other guy. <laughs> yeah, it's the same but different. Uh, for Jacqueline Fine. Uh, no, sorry, this is Gloria. And for Gloria. Gloria, we got the Silver Twilight Acolyte. Oh, that sounds that like a job tough. for Tony yeah. Morgan to solve. Man, remember... That time when you got beat to death by a Silver Twilight Acolyte in a rowboat? Yes. I never <laughs> forget. Uh, Carolyn, let's see what you got. You have... Mob Enforcer. What have you done, yep. Carolyn? That's right. so easy, though. I haven't paid my... Yeah, no, it is. I'm just yeah. money. <laughs> yeah. Just like, look. How much for you to pretend I know you never found me? 
All right. Four. Hell, I saw the mob. They're like four resources. You're like, Ooh, okay. He's going to turn into a tree. He is self-destructive. Ah, that's actually like kind of annoying. <laughs> that's fair. At least, at least one of our weaknesses should be bad. Yeah, and honestly, yeah. like this yeah. is one that like if Travis or I are around, we can spend a time to help you get rid of it too, right? Yeah. 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 No, like it's it's solvable. Yeah. And then Plus, contains too many do? cards. When did that happen? Oh, probably the storm of spirits. Yeah, so I didn't take a card one. out. Um. You could dump the astral travel. If that's you want, probably. But... I don't need that one of now that I have the two storm of spirits. All right, let's see what we got. Haunted. All right. That's relevant, too. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Dude, that's so funny about the tower. That's great. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Don't for us in real life, I have card, no idea. Like, okay. Part, sorry, Travis? So you just draw the tower as your card's turn. You're like, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know for when in real life we're going to start recording this, um, but for YouTube, when you guys are watching, this next episode will be out tomorrow for starting our new series, and then otherwise, every week until it is done, we will be finishing our newest challenge series. Thanks for watching if you watched the full uh, 80 minutes that this video was. Hope you had a good time uh, watching us build decks. Uh, have a good one, and as always, GG's.